Hey guys, today we're gonna to be doing a quick unboxing and test of this Hap Run projector. And real quickly, I do have to mention that they did send this out to me for this review. So let's get straight into it. Specifically, the model number is YG291, just in case you guys are trying to compare to what you guys are looking at. So let's go ahead and start unboxing this so we could get to the exciting part, which is the actual test. So on the inside, you guys get immediately a user manual, which may be helpful. Then if you guys take this foam off, off, you guys get immediate access to the actual projector. And now you guys are gonna get to see just how small this thing is. So I mean, I can literally fit it in the palm of my hand. So that is really cool. On the back here, we have the power in, then we have what I assume like the, the sensor for the remote, then headphone in or audio jack in. We have one HDMI in, two USBs and a power button right there. And then that's about it. Everything else is gonna be controlled via the remote. You guys do get a little mounting point right there. Let's go ahead and see what else is in the box. So we have our power cable. We get an extra HDMI cable, the remote, and it looks like that's basically it. So let's go ahead and get this plugged in and then I'll get back to you guys in just one moment whenever I have it shining on that wall back there. All right, so we just got it all hooked up and I'm really impressed with the high definition quality of this projector. Basically on the remote, maybe harder to see without the light, but we need it fairly dark so that you guys can see the screen. We have these two buttons right here. So there's an F on it, that means focus. So if I turn it back this way, you guys should see it slightly become out of focus. So it's all very easy to do straight from the remote. And now we're almost to the perfect focus already. I just really enjoy having it done all through like electrical remote versus doing it on the projector itself. So if you guys can't reach the projector, you guys could always just use it with the remote. So real quick, we're just gonna get a little closer to the screen here so that you guys could see just how crisp this projector is. Right now I am projecting onto just my wall so it's not perfectly smooth, but even still, it's very difficult to see any individual pixels. And it's also fairly bright. Even in my room with all my RGB lights going, I could still very clearly see the screen. And right now I have a Roku hooked up. So basically I just use the USB port on the projector to power the Roku and then a very short HDMI cable. So this thing can power your Roku and then you guys could just switch to the HDMI port to get the Roku screen. Also, if you guys are interested in using a portable speaker, they make it very easy. So this little projector here has Bluetooth, so that you could pair to the speaker to get better sound quality, but the projector already has built-in speakers, three watt speakers, but if that's not enough for you, you guys could always connect it to a Bluetooth device closer to you. So basically to do that, you're gonna press this button right here, and you should see some on the projector. We're gonna go down to other settings and then Bluetooth. So I'll turn off the light just so you could see this screen. But basically from here, you guys just press find Bluetooth. Then you guys could see a portable speaker listed right there. I just connected to it. And that is this speaker right here. So anyways, that's just my really quick review of this mini projector.